Hey guys, Adrenaline Chunky here. Welcome to another video. This is gonna be an awesome one. I know there hasn't been too many uploads lately, but that's because we've been out on the trail, riding a lot, and enjoying our summer, getting tons and tons of great content for you guys to enjoy as well. So I'll be catching up on all that content. I'll be editing a lot of videos and making a lot of uploads in the near future for you guys to enjoy. But um, we'll talk a bit more about that later. For now, let's get this ride going. This ride was shot Father's Day 2018, uh, early spring, and uh, we had a really good turnout here. Big mix of machines. You guys are gonna have a lot to enjoy here, a lot of action, a lot of carnage. We got some side-by-sides, we've got ATVs, and we've even got some moto action. So uh, there's gonna be a lot of cool stuff to see. If you're just checking this video out for the first time, or our channel for the first time, then uh, make sure you subscribe, and also check out our secondary channel, Adrenaline Junkie Projects. Also, you can find us on Instagram where we post a lot of cool pictures from the rides and on Facebook. We're also going to have some cool custom AJP swag heading your way in the form of t-shirts, hats, and hoodies that we'll be putting up on our Shopify store that we've just made. So make sure you check out some of that and show your support by ordering some shirts for you and your friends. Like oh my god, them. it's so bent. Both of them. Your shock is so hurts. bad. Did you did you this bottom it out? I don't know. Ask him. He did it. Wait, this one's not bad. This one's not bad. I think it bent itself. This one's good. That's did that explain the A-arm event? Mm-hmm. And the rear radius rods? I got those in one too. I got everything S3 at home. Oh. <laughs> this is going to be my longest edit yet. It's a really long ride. We were out all day filming, all day riding, having fun from basically the afternoon until it got dark. So there's going to be a lot of cool stuff for you guys to see here. We got quite a bit of carnage. Some of the machines are not going to make it back happy. And um, some of them are not going to make it back under their own power. With that being said, uh, if you do enjoy these videos, please do share them with your friends. Share them on social media. Tell your friends that you ride with about them. We try to get the word out there as much as we can. We don't put money into marketing these videos. Um, I like to focus on organic growth. It's really nice to see all you return viewers here. I love hearing comments from all you guys, so make sure you leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of the videos. The comments are the best way for me to figure out what you guys are thinking, what you like, and what you want to see more of. So don't be shy. Uh, leave me any kind of a comment. Constructive feedback is good. You're not going to hurt my feelings. So uh, enough mumbling about this stuff. Let's get onto the details. Let's get those tires rolling and let's have some fun out on the trail here. You guys are in for a wild, wild ride. So as you guys can see, we've got a huge mix of machines ready to hit the trail here. We're just leaving Can-Am Dan's place and we're gonna take a little short cruise down the road to get to where the trailhead starts and we're gonna take it from there. So hold on. Just making our way onto the first set of trails here. 
today we're going to take you down some of the original trails that we haven't been on for a while, the trails that started it all, some of the trails and the climbs you saw in some of our first videos. So a lot of you guys might recognize these trails, but if you know much about off-roading, then you'll know the trail changes every time you hit it pretty much. So uh, as the trails evolve, as the seasons change, the trails are never the same. Places that are easy one day can be difficult the next, so um, it's never a dull moment. So um, to all you guys that have been here from the beginning, thanks so much for the support. To all the new people, please stay, check out our other content, and hit that subscribe button. seater Maverick uh, in front of us here. Um, the, the longer wheelbase machines will get hung up a lot easier and uh, bottom out like you see them rubbing across that log there. Uh, the two seaters they usually won't have the same issues so uh, just something to point out on the various platforms.
Once I grow up, yeah. guys heard Can-Am Dan busting my chops there saying he's gonna convert me to the Can-Am side one day when I grow up. <laughs> Little does he know I never planned to grow up so I guess I'm just gonna be a Polaris boy my whole life. All joking set aside though, the Can-Ams are wicked machines, especially these new X3 model Mavericks. They really, really, really pack a lot of punch. Uh, the Razor Turbo and the X3 Turbo are very evenly matched machines on the trail. I know in the past there's always been mixed opinions on using background audio. Uh, for these longer edits, I find a little bit of music does help with the video quality. And unfortunately on this ride, we forgot our external audio recorder, so there will be a little bit of white noise from the gimbal. Um, so I'll be using music to cover it up. your videos then you can't have anything that's copyrighted in them and with the guys having stereos in their vehicles sometimes I have to put in some background noise to drown out the copyrighted content so that I don't get any copyright strikes on my channel and risk losing my channel um, so I will do my best to keep the raw audio and all the action sequences so that you guys can hear the tire noise and the engine noise and the machines doing their thing but um, there will be some scenes where I add in a little bit of audio or some, some music just to liven things up or cover up some uh, other white noise. bikes. Um, we'll be catching up with them a bit later to do some hill climbs, so stay tuned. As a lot of you guys probably know, it's really hard catching the depth and, and the extremity of a lot of these obstacles on camera, whether it be video or photo. So um, sometimes we get a lot of comments saying, oh, that's nothing, that's easy. Uh, for all you guys that think a bunch of these climbs we're doing are easy, come on over and show us what you got because uh, talk is cheap.
just saying that our buddy Paul texted him asking where we were. He just picked up a brand new 2018 Razor XP1000 and he's looking to test it out on the trail. He's upgrading from a Can-Am ATV to a nice Polaris side-by-side, -side, so uh, he's going to come break her in with us. wife in his brand new shiny red Razor X P1000. Let's help him scratch that thing up. gone through the first section of trail here. Now we're gonna hit the road for a moment and link up to the next trailhead. All of the terrain we're riding here is on private property. Most of this property is owned by riders in the group and or people locally that we know. Um, unfortunately, in this area, we don't have much public maintained trail system like you'll find in a lot of the states um, south of the border here. Um, with that being said, we have to build and maintain our own trail systems and uh, find the land to ride on, which isn't always easy. Um, as a result of this being private property, these are not public access trails. These are limited to us and our riding group. Unfortunately, you can't just show up and ride these trails on your own. squeeze between some trees. I am so glad I got that Super ATV full protection kit on the Razor. It has saved this machine so many times since I put it on. This was the first real ride with it installed. written off the whole passenger side of this Razor um, later on in the ride and uh, you guys will see that for yourselves.
a boss. Like a boss. What hill? Was there a hill there? is not supposed to just be laying there like that, is it? My next project is going to be to devise a way to hold on to cameras. Oh! Didn't think so. Luckily it's in a nice hard case so that fall won't really hurt it, neither will the elements. So uh, if you guys are carrying expensive gear with you, invest into a dry oh, case. Paul scared. Just busting a little chops there saying Paul's scared of this obstacle. Truth is, uh, when you're in a new machine, especially an expensive new side-by-side -side like this, it does take a while to get used to the machine and its handling characteristics and it can be pretty daunting approaching um, severe obstacles because, I mean, you're one bad decision away from breaking stuff or writing off a machine. You want me Woo! to go? What? You want me to go? Well, yeah, then you can video. to the ground with it. You're in that hole now. See it on the other side? up to let James out there I didn't realize how deep the uh, little creek washout on the driver's side there was and I managed to back into it when I was trying to line myself up to do the climb again which is why I was saying it's his fault for not wanting to walk across and me having to drop him off there when it got stuck if he just jumped the creek
That little creek on the driver's side there is a heck of a lot deeper than it looks from the angle here. When I went back through it, I, I was originally thinking I could just back up, but then it started lifting the front passenger side wheel, and I really didn't want to roll over into that. Not that it would have caused much damage, but it definitely would have got me all wet and covered in mud early into the day. Just go straight back. What? Just go straight back. Ow. You're not going to hit it anymore. If you just go straight back from where you are, you're fine, Julian. Stop there, let it out. risk of sounding like a wimp. Um, a lot of people will often tell you, you know, just do this, do that. But at the end of the day, it's your machine and if you don't feel comfortable doing something, it's up to you to do it or not because when you break something or you roll over, you're responsible for that, not the people around you. So just keep that in mind. Well, you know, we grew up here. they used to build the stuff George, better back the then. They cut off jorts. Ball tires. <laughs> they cut off jorts. I guess jorts. In there. He's just lining it up right now. He's got to commit though. He's going to do it. Oh, he commits. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Multi-stage yeah, obstacle. You That's the hard spot. There. It's so much different on an ATV too. Look at that. <laughs> no. Bad idea. Come on, I'm a full I did sneak my big shoes up, my good shoes up. That's me, my finger. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, Alec! You know, if you had better tires, you'd make it. Come on, Clarence. Oh yeah, he does. You remember that little teal thing you used to drive? You can drive that and survive. There's nothing you can't do. Whoa, I blamed that on the sandals. So who else thinks he would have made it that sandal didn't fail? Yeah. <laughs> All joking set aside, uh, definitely not wearing the proper footwear for this situation. But Alex is definitely a guy who likes to send it. Um, he's growing up riding these trails. Uh, some of the trails we came off to get here were actually on his property. So, um, so yeah, he's well acquainted with what he's uh, kind of gotten himself into and he, you could see him there, he was ready to bail. What do you got buddy? Got handlebars. Is it okay? Oh, it's a handlebars bet. So as you can see, a little bit of damage on the handlebars, nothing serious, nothing the uh, house can't fix in a few minutes, so I'm sure this won't stop him. Oh, one more time. It's way slippier than you think from down there, eh? Well, since one person failed, it's only in our nature to send someone else up and see if this is doable. So let's see what the Razor Turbo can do.
Reagan, the 900S, is going to line up and give it a shot, too. So we'll see who does better, Tyler in the 2018 Razor Turbo or Greg in the 2016 900S. almost in the same spot as you. <laughs> the 2018 Razor Turbo looks to have made easy work of that. Let's see if the 900S can follow suit there. I find a lot of people really underestimate the potential of the 900S. It's a really capable machine and its smaller size lets it pick different lines. You don't have to worry so much about going full throttle, landing on the throttle. It doesn't have the power to break things like the bigger machines do. Do not underestimate these machines and their capability. My feet aren't calloused up enough, I don't got much traction. Realistically, you shouldn't listen to anything I say anyways. <laughs> so you're just heading home? So Alex on the Renegade there is just going to cruise home. He's only a few minutes away by trail and he says he's got a spare set of handlebars at home in the shop. So he's going to slap those on and join us back on the trail in a bit. Yeah, now what? <laughs> Back down. <laughs> so we're not quite sure what Greg's intention is here. He just seems to be trying to find his own little trail. You never know with him. Yet he's always the one that seems to be leading the pack, so it can get pretty interesting from time to time. What is that? That little 900S has been making some weird drivetrain noises, so it's uh, definitely ready for a trip to the dealership after this ride. Whatever that thing was in its previous life, it's paying for its sins over and over again.
So we're just pulling out of one section of the trail here, pulling into Alex's front yard. You'll see me waving to him there. He's the guy who just rolled his Renegade and bent the handlebars. He's just slapping a new set on right now, and he's gonna link up with us down the street at the next section of the trail in just a moment. We're just pulling out of his driveway, and we're gonna hit the next section of trail, which is Bob's elbow, so get ready for a good time, and the carnage is about to start. watching a lot of our other videos you'll know that this is uh, one of our favorite trail sections here Bob's Elbow it's an obstacle we all like it's uh, hit and miss sometimes it's easy sometimes it's tricky uh, we've had a lot of carnage here in the past uh, earlier I was referring to me hitting a tree on this section of trail at the end of last winter we were cruising the other way down these trails and I was sliding down a hill because I had no grip and I didn't have my bumpers on yet and I smacked a tree pretty hard with my front end which caused a little bit of well, not too much damage, but it broke my headlight and bent a couple little things there, nothing serious. But I am so glad I finally got this uh, full protection kit on here with the XO cage. It really makes cruising down these tight trails a lot less stressful because I know when I smack something, it's my bumper taking the brunt and the impact, not my plastics and my body panels. right before Bob's Elbow, one that a lot of the long-term viewers will definitely recognize from previous videos. It's the big dip into the ravine and out of the ravine with two steep climbs in and out. Uh, this is a really fun section of trail. I really love this one. It gets sketchy as heck in the winter time when the ground freezes over or when it's wet out. Uh, it's pretty dry. There's a lot of grip today, so it shouldn't be too crazy, but you never know what you're going to get. As you've heard me mention, and like you can see for yourself, we've got quite a range of machines out here today. Having all these different machines out is a lot of fun. It really lets you see the pros and cons of the various platforms, where they do well and where they struggle. It's a lot of fun seeing these go head to head against each other. You get to see the difference in tire options we have out here, as well as just the difference in driving style and the way that different drivers approach these obstacles using their different vehicles. It's tough to say which one of these machines are the best. It really has a lot to do with what you want out of a machine and how you plan on using it. Uh, it's a subjective question, so which one's the best is really up to you and that's a decision you can make. 
hopefully if you're out shopping for a machine right now, then these videos can help you make up your mind on what machine would be best for you. 900S, 2017. 2017 Wildcat Sport Limited. Nice health is on there. ITP Blackwater Evo is just like me. 2017 X3 Turbo Stage 4 Evo Tune. GBC Dirt Commanders, 15 inch rims, 30s. This is a Gibson exhaust on it, sounds evil. Nice new 2018, 2018 with a model in it. It's my 2017 Razor Turbo. 2018 Razor Turbo stock with some custom damage. 2017 X3 Turbo. This is the one with the Galaxy Wrap that you can't see right now. 2016 900S. 2017 Yamaha Wolverine. me rubbing some mud on my legs there I walked through some stinging nettle if you ever do that all you got to do is spread some mud on it and the stinging goes away it's looking like the Maverick Max is having some transmission issues here You guys got any parts on there? <laughs> I got a rope! <laughs> Is that a Dan Z-Frick that I see over there? Yeah. like we're not the only ones out enjoying this beautiful weather. There's a bunch of people cruising by on the creek in their kayaks. You've seen some of them holding beers. It's now officially legal in Ontario to kayak and drink booze. And that's a law that they just passed a little while ago. Bob's elbow claims another victim. to help extract Henry from this tight spot. That way we can help him backtrack on the trail and get back to Alex's place where he can pick his machine up with the truck. <laughs> it's 
it's like hit or miss. Sometimes it's sometimes you pass right through it, and sometimes it's hell, and sometimes people do this. points was that? 10 out of 10. Uh, that's a, no, that's that's a, a we'll 10? Give it, no. We'll give it a 7. Oh, that 7. seven. Yeah, that's fair. 7? Give him a 5. Clean run. 7. Well, oh, you're not. You're in a 10. Is that a challenge? <laughs> <laughs> that's what I said. 10 doesn't fit. Send it by. Just send it by. It could go up to an 11 real quick though. If it rolls? Yeah. Instant 11.
think it for? through. Okay. Where Just f***ing hold her top right Don't here. Don't listen to him. No, no. Just, you, you got it. is through I was the last guy left I decided to trek back with Henry just to make sure everything's okay if he runs into any issues uh, all the rest of the guys are gonna wait for us on the other side of Bob's elbow there and, uh, Henry and Eva were just wondering if there's another way we can go but this is the only route back as 
I mentioned a little earlier, we're going to head back to Alex's place where we just came from, and then Henry can get a ride back to his truck and safely get his Maverick home. safely managed to make our way back to the road and as most of you guys know when you go in with someone you make sure you leave with them or you get them back to safety when you ride as a group the group's safety is your responsibility as a group so now that Henry's back here safely I'm gonna head back and link up with the rest of the boys they're waiting for me on the trail and Henry and Eva can find a nice safe way back get their uh, Maverick back home on the truck and uh, diagnose the issues and take it from there made it out. That's right. And then we That's you made it out under your own power. Right. So okay. Us. You're welcome. I know you would have done the same. <laughs> yeah, I think Alex is going to give you guys a lift home or something. Okay, well, if he can get back to Dan, he can come and pick it up. Yeah. Okay, I'll see you in a bit. I'm going to go see, test my luck. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. safe I'm gonna head back and meet up with the rest of the group hopefully they haven't uh, gone too far ahead and we'll see how uh, hard it is to get through Bob's elbow for me I just want to take a second to thank all you guys for checking out the videos watching them subscribing hitting that thumbs up button leaving us a bunch of comments I love reading the comments uh, I do my best to get back to most of them uh, once in a while I will miss a comment here and there just because we get so many now um, it's just awesome to have all the support that we have as a group here uh, we love going out and riding the trails as friends and, and, and just getting out there and having fun and it's just so much more fun getting able to sh being able to share all these adventures with, with all you guys. Uh, it's like an extended family. Um, the community we've managed to build over the last few seasons on this YouTube channel is just awesome. So with that being said, if it's your first time checking out the videos, make sure you come back and make sure you subscribe. Also, if you haven't checked out our secondary channel yet, Adrenaline Junkie Projects, give that a, a, a check that out and, and subscribe to us there too. Also, we've got some shirts uh, that I've designed with a few friends, and um, you guys have been asking for swag and shirts for quite a while, so we'll have shirts up for sale. They're on our Shopify store that I just set up, so bear with me as I figure things out. The shirts that are up right now are just prototypes. We are finalizing the designs based on uh, the feedback we've gotten from these ones and uh, how easy or hard it was to produce these. So um, the designs will be changing and, and improving as we go. There will be new shirt sizes, new designs, new colors coming out. We'll have hoodies and hats out as the weather gets cooler. And um, we're also going to have stickers and cool stuff like that available. So make sure uh, if you want to show some support for us, pick up a shirt or two for you and your friends. All the proceeds from those shirts will go directly back into the channel, getting gear 
for filming and just getting us out on the trails and helping support the costs of making these videos. Um, YouTube doesn't really provide much money in the form of monetization, so it seems a lot of other popular channels are going in the route of uh, making swag like we just did and uh, some people have also recommended we check out patreon So I will be setting up a patreon account So if anyone wants to donate on patreon, you will have that option I'm not really gonna push that I leave it up to you guys All I have to say is that I appreciate all the support you do give us and absolutely everything we get will go back into the channel You made it in. Henry's home. He drove back under his own power. Greaser's coming back out. He's putting the handlebars on. Oh, did he? Oh, yeah. See his dad up there with his buddy, Dave. Oh, yeah. He said he'll have one. They're already good on that. Come back, there's just yeah, I'm just a three down. <laughs> oh, that was their yeah, we all crossed it. Climb over it, you. <laughs> we all need to go over. Yeah, I'm not sure how you can beat this. Awesome ride, awesome friends, great weather, wicked lineup of machines. I mean, this is what off roading is all about. And uh, I'm sure you guys know that. If you're here watching this, then you must enjoy off-roading about as much as I do. So, um, I mean, this is what summer days are all about. This is why we have these machines. This is why we come out here to just enjoy ourselves amongst good people and beautiful scenery. So if you enjoy the video, make sure you smash that like button and share the video with your friends. Also, check us out on Instagram and on Facebook. And don't forget to subscribe. We got another good obstacle coming right up, so stay tuned. Lots more carnage on the way. The further we go, the wilder it's going to get now. I'll be releasing a shorter action cut of this video too in the next little while. This is the longest video we've ever made, like I mentioned at the beginning here. And I know a lot of you guys really enjoy these feature length rides, which is why I put all the time into making them. Uh, it takes a long, long time to make a two or three hour video. Um, by the time this is done and uploaded, I'm going to have over 50 hours into this video probably. So just so you guys know, um, it seems like it takes me a while to upload these videos sometimes, but it's a lot of work. This obstacle we're hitting here is also one that the longtime viewers have probably seen a few times in the videos gone by. It's a really fun section of trail here. I really like this obstacle. It can get pretty sketchy when it's wet or frozen out. Today it's nice and dry, so there's a lot of grit. filming with the different cameras and various angles uh, and cameras all around really adds to the effect of these videos. You can see I'm the last guy in the pack here and a bunch of the guys ahead of me have already gone through the obstacle and I'm still just coming up to it here. With that being said, um, having all the different angles, various cameras, it also does add to the time it takes to edit these. So it does take me a little longer to release these videos. Um, in between work and my other life uh, responsibilities, sometimes I don't have as much time to edit these videos on a weekly basis as I'd like to.
toddler throwing us candy. You know, it's always good to share, and you can't turn down a nice sour watermelon slice. I doubt you'd be getting through there in a Razor Turbo S or a Can-Am X3 XRS. Uh, barely got through there. With this full protection kit, I've got a little bit of a ghetto booty on the Razor. because it feels like you're driving through a green tunnel going through all this brush.
take a look at that crazy climb there to the right. Yeah, we'll be going up that. section of trail a lot of you will probably recognize from a lot of the older videos where we first started out this is the uh, ravine or the creek we love driving through there's been a lot of cool video clips shot here So I decided to go around and drive over this stump and then I got high centered on the stump, so I'm stuck here. Not very impressive. 
but Greg's stuck down there in the silt. No one's ever made it through that spot. Obviously there's already been a few machines through here and now you can see that the Wolverine's going to struggle because it's got a little less ground clearance than the others. If you pay attention here you can see something's not feeling right for Corey as well. He starts experiencing some issues here so keep that in mind. no one's made it up this section of the creek without getting stuck in that silt hole. I don't know how deep it is, but it's eaten every machine that's ever tried it. Hey, Greg! Hey, Mama never is a fish, so... <laughs> This is definitely a job for the winch. I'm sure it won't be the last time we try that hole. Someone's eventually got to make it through. So unforgiving. Oh. 
After helping Cory in the Wolverine and Greg in the 900S get out of that silt, it's my turn to winch myself off this stupid log. It looks good. So as the Wolverine was sitting there as we were messing around in the creek, somebody noticed there was a big pool of oil underneath it. And uh, you're about to see what we found. <laughs> a lot of oil. Something's not good. I can't see it. Right that works. Thanks, everybody. Back <laughs> that must have happened right here then, after that last. Where is the oil plug on the sink for the engine? Drains right here. And the plug's in there? Yep, that's not a. That's not good. It's not like the Grizzlies where he had two. Yeah, like like you got it over there. Yeah. Is it a line that's come no off way. a branch you hit or something? Oh, I can't see in there. Too tight. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, let's let her down. I guess. Right, ready? I'll do it all. Back your way. Yep. Everybody clear. Let her drop. Yep. Three, Watch two, out. one. Go. Watch your head. <laughs>
guys are psycho. <laughs> he made it up that. I'll do it. Okay. Here you go. Go. Do you want me to do it again? Yeah. Leave it to Greg and the little 900S to try just about any obstacle out there. Just to keep things interesting, looks like some of the boys are joining us on their dirt bikes now. Good to go. No, he's going up. Oh. This climb is absolutely insane. It does not look like that on the video. Up until today, no one had ever even tried climbing this in anything except a dirt bike. So getting up and down this in the side by sides, that's like a feat. That tree at the end scares me. Yeah, he seemed to have good grip. Yeah. I didn't have the balls to try the climb that day. I just, it just did not feel right to me. Maybe uh, down the line I'll give it a shot too though. In the previous shot you could kind of see the angle and how steep it is, but the camera really doesn't do it justice. I don't think there's many people out there that would hit a climb like this. <laughs> See what the two stroke beta dirt bike can do. Nice. Nice. Oh. Well played. Where are they stuck? Come pull you out. It's cool to see the dirt bike rip up this hill. It really makes easy work of it. So 
we've got the X3 Turbo pulling the dead Wolverine out of the trail, and looks like they're both stuck now. Prince, uh, oh, he doesn't have a winch, eh? No. you got to watch out in the reverse, right? No, I don't. Well, I'm just going to pull somewhat. Yeah, slow and steady. You hear me reminding Paul to take it easy and not be too throttle happy in reverse. A lot of the machines before 2018 ran a chain for the reverse drive. In 2018 plus, the Razor 1000 XPs went to a fully gear driven transmission. All the turbos are also fully gear driven in reverse as well, but ripping it too hard in reverse can still cause strain and damage on various components. Um, and if you have a machine that's smaller than a 1000 XP, or I'm not sure about some of the other manufacturers, then they do run a reverse change and it's easy to skip or break that chain. <laughs> <laughs> well, as long as you're in the upright direction, I think you're okay. So the rider on the Beta here has hit this climb quite a few times. It's good practice for him and the Enduros he runs. But uh, you can tell he's getting a bit of a wrist pump. He's getting tired. It's not so easy anymore after you've hit it a few times. <laughs> enjoying the video so far. If you'd like to check out some of our custom new swag, it's available on our Shopify store. The link's right there. Also, follow us on Instagram and on Facebook where we post a lot of pictures from these rides. Man, it makes it look easy. I know. How's it feel? Sketchy. Okay. Yeah. As it should. Like nice and that was the first time a side by side ever went up there. Kind of grip there. Makes me want to do it. I should do it too. Another RCV. Well, my penis is huge. I got nothing to prove. I know, I know. <laughs> I'm teasing. <laughs> She's laughing. She's like, I do. Give me the keys. <laughs> That's a wicked bike, the Beta. <laughs> Greg rolled it! Greg rolled it? 
Yeah, but it landed back on its wheels. He rolled over backwards and landed on all fours. Did you get that on video? No, he was by himself. <laughs> Unfortunately. That hill is a climb. Yeah. The other one's way worse. Which one, that one? Yeah, super f***ing steep. Is it? Traction E rag. Do you want to say something? Um, let me think of what to say. I'm gonna try it one more time for all the gumbies at the traction E rag. Woo! Let's do it, man. It's already conquered this climb a couple times, but it's getting a little harder now that the side by side's being hitting it. Nothing for the beta though. Nothing it can't handle. Makes that thing dance. Persistence is key. mentioned Greg rolled the 900s backwards and back on its wheels but that won't slow him down <laughs> this guy is crazy Greg's one of the craziest riders in our group he makes that little 900s dance every time he's behind the wheel check out that cage damage this is the second or third time Greg's gonna have to replace the cage on that 900s but I doubt that's gonna slow him down it's squat shorter now We have 24,000 something right now. So it's an adrenaline junkie prod. Find us on there. You'll, you guys will be on it. That's why I was telling him. Oh my god, what did you do? I didn't take him seriously when they said rubber side down. Well, that won't teach you a thing. No. <laughs> hey, you want a beer? What? You want a beer? Oh, I got beer. Aren't you glad you got out? Yeah. You know, it's funny. This side collapsed and this side didn't, eh? Last time I had both of them roll evenly, but this side collapsed. Your bumper is nice and tight, like it's a better clearance now. That grill will never fall out again. It's not the bumper, it's a little support thing. Oh. The bumper's fine.
sweet vintage Kawasaki in front of us there. So obviously Greg sustained some serious cage damage. That roll cage has to be replaced. It can no longer sustain a serious impact with those bends in it. The stock ROP systems, the rollover protection systems, they're good for one decent roll and you've got to replace them. If there's bends or kinks in that cage, you cannot trust it and you've got to put a new uh, cage on there. You probably won't have to replace the cage, the entire cage, just a portion of it, the rear section, the section he's replaced in the past. So um, don't ever take a risk. If you, if you roll your machine over like that, don't think you can just straighten it out and keep riding. You definitely got to replace that or upgrade it. on the bikes decided to head home. We're heading back to Dan's place now to regroup, but don't you worry, this ride's not over yet. We're about to start part two here. We're gonna regroup, fill up the coolers with ice, make sure everything's okay with the machines, drop off that broken down Wolverine, and head back onto the trails for part two of this wicked ride. This was a wicked day. We got a lot of riding and a lot of carnage, and there's a lot more carnage on the way, so stay tuned. The Yamaha sit. How the Can Am do hauling her back? Back to the drawing board. Yep. I'm going stronger next time. Yeah, but it always comes back better. <laughs> hey, this is the first time she's let us down. Yeah, it's done pretty good. Yeah. 2600 kilometers on it, I think. Are you going back out? Good. Isaacs, right? Hells yeah. That thing is so small. He's like, you smell disgusting. <laughs> I like you. Like small, small. Two pounds small. That thing is two pounds. Nine hundred grams. Mm -hmm. You just gave it enough alcohol to kill it. Are you gonna drink that now? Oh, it licked its little bone with that. <laughs> She's the size of a water bottle. Dude, so small. Hear me, I look. She drinks out of a cap of a water bottle. That's how small she is. Oh, wow. That's oh. messed up. Thanks, man. Don't jump off there. You'll die. I guarantee it. That's entertaining. Look at it. It's got a f***ing whole tree in its seen mouth. how many views dog videos get? <laughs> yeah, way more than my stupid off-roading videos. Yeah. <laughs> What's so entertaining about driving through mud holes? Oh, look, grown men playing in the mud. Oh my god, a puppy! I love puppies! Oh my god! Ah! Whoa, that dog just disappeared. <gasps> Julian! <laughs> I was aiming for the dog. 
All right, we've regrouped, restocked, refueled. The dead machines are back on the trailers and we're uh, ready to hit round two here. The stun's starting to set, so uh, things always get interesting as the day goes on, especially after sunset. So we're gonna work our way back to the trails. A lot of the trails we'll be hitting now are some of our uh, old original trails you guys would have remembered from the original videos when we first started out. So uh, hopefully you enjoy the second part of this ride. We're gonna have some carnage for you and some cool technical climbs. So I'm sure you guys will enjoy it. Thanks again for joining us on this ride and uh, I hope you enjoy these extended cut videos. Let me know what you think. I put a lot of time into making these, but judging by the comments I've received in the past, you guys really do enjoy these longer cut videos. So uh, I'm gonna keep making them if that's what you like. If you do enjoy them, then help spread the word and share these videos on social media with all your friends. Let's work together as a team to help this channel grow. Um, I'd love to get the numbers up to catch up to some of the other channels out there. I really think we've got some great content here. So um, all the help you guys can give me by subscribing and sharing these videos really helps out. The more subscribers we get, the more people get to see our videos and the higher they rank on YouTube so that more people can enjoy this content with all of us. As a lot of you viewers know, some of our trails get quite tight and uh, as you can see here there's sections that uh, we barely squeeze through. Most of the guys in the group are running 64 inch machines or 60 inch sport models. Um, we'd have a really hard time fitting a 72 inch XRS or Turbo S back here. It would definitely require us to modify some of the trail sections. As we've gone on over the years, even these 64 inch machines have required some serious modification of the trails to fit. With that being said, I know a lot of you guys would love to see a Turbo S or an XRS out here, but uh, it's highly unlikely just because the general demographic around here, you don't see many of those machines, and if you do, you're spending most of your time on a short course track or something like that rather than out on the trails. I recently got a 360 degree camera, but figuring it out and getting the shots I'm after in the conditions we ride has proven to be a little more challenging than I expected. I should recognize this climb. She's a classic.
is one of my favorite sections of trail we have. We've been riding it for a really long time. It's both scenic, technical, fun. There's lots of climbs. I love cruising through this ravine uh, bed here, like the, the creek bed that we're in right now. It's just a lot of fun. Lots of rocks to crawl through, mud, angle shifts. It's, it's just a blast and it's so beautiful down here. We really are blessed to have some wonderful riding terrain. What I was saying a little while ago about the 64 inch versus 60 versus 72 inch models you saw how far up the creek bank I had to drive just to clear this branch here I hit it with my light bar I got hung up whereas the 900s drove right through at 60 inches without a hitch coming up here is a crazy one. Hold on. sound like broken record saying this but some of these climbs like the video just does not do them justice that is a wild climb especially on an ATV man those guys on the ATV yeah Just re-watching this video now to do the voice over here has got my heart beating and my adrenaline pumping. Uh, I just get so revved up watching these videos, I want to go out and ride. I'm hoping you guys get the same feeling when you're sitting back and watching these in the living room. Uh, sometimes you can't get out there, so hopefully I'm helping you get your fix on the TV. Or on your cell phone or wherever you choose to watch these YouTube videos. If you don't already, take a moment and follow us on Instagram and like us on Facebook where we post a lot of photos from these rides for you guys to enjoy. Those are both great platforms to get in touch with me as well and leave me a comment or share some of your photos uh, from your rides.
old Dukes of Hazzard. Hey, Get skinny! I think he broke his mirror. Oh, that's it? Yeah, 100%. Yeah. That was awesome. He drove right out of it. Didn't even happen. What the hell was that? I sat like this. I wasn't holding on. My seatbelt was holding me up. <laughs> As a lot of you guys watch and probably know, you're never too sure when carnage is looming around the corner, so make sure you wear those seatbelts. <laughs> I don't think Dan even knew he rolled over until after it was done. But he literally drove right out of that with no issue at all. That was hilarious. We all got a good laugh out of that one. All that happened there was his tire caught the bank, it drove up, and it just tipped the machine right over before you even knew it was happening. Luckily it's nice and soft where he landed, uh, no damage, just one broken mirror. And uh, trust me, that's not the last mirror we're going to break tonight. the best sound in one out here. Yeah, I said it. Can Am sounds better than a Polaris. <laughs>
light bars are so cheap and we're pretty much all running an LED light bar, it's hard to think back and uh, think that we used to ride these machines at night with hardly any light at all in comparison to what we have now. Having access to these LED light bars really makes riding at night and when the sun's going down a lot more enjoyable. You can really see everything. It's uh, literally a night and day difference. If you don't have one on your machine yet, then I highly recommend getting one. I like having one for my reverse light too because at night sometimes if you're stuck or if you need to reverse or do some work it's great having that light in behind. Like I mentioned earlier I recently set up a Shopify store where you can pick up some sweet Team AJP stickers and some custom t-shirts we've designed so that you can rep our brand on the trail. If you do get one of our t-shirts make sure you uh, send us a picture of you wearing it on the trail or, or in the garage or something and we'll, uh, we'll share that photo on our social media. Also to uh, anyone who orders a shirt before the end of this year, I will also throw in some free stickers with every order. Just like all the proceeds from the YouTube channel, all the proceeds from the Shopify store will go directly back into making great content for you guys to enjoy. That's broken mirror number two of the night. Oh, he smashed that thing. Oh man, he's beating that thing. Yep. I'm gonna do it that way. That's why I bought an exo cage. about to eat that that's why I bought an exo cage comment pretty hard just like I'm about to eat a tree with it. So if you guys want to know how well the Super ATV full protection kit works just sit back and watch. <laughs> Calling in the X3 Turbo just showed you how to do it. I'm going to show you how not to do it.
broken mirror number three. According to plan, I didn't give her enough and I didn't go high enough, but it was sure a fun ride. That exo cage did its job and protected that wrap and my doors and my plastics. Not a scratch on it. Well, maybe a little scratch on the exo cage. Looks like that rear bumper is pretty solid, too. <laughs> is that break? Yeah. Probably. Yeah. good advertisement for the Super ATV full protection kit. <laughs> I just don't know what is. Oh yeah, I saw him flexing and working. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, you can see all the wood. That mirror got obliterated. Yeah, I, I was thinking to myself oh, I should take them off half. and one of them's already removed for me. <laughs> Forrest said you need to go. No, I don't. I don't. My, my roof's broken though. Oh yeah. You got hung right up on this thing. It was... Oh, it just pulled Man, out. that was a tough part. <laughs> yeah. I need a torque. That's what it's there for. That's Compared to this. That's all from that. <laughs> that was nice how it just pivoted right around that tree. Oh, yeah. you Do you know what else would be cool? Definitely bottom. I'm more of a momentum though and stuff like that. I screwed that up. I should have gone a little faster. Yeah, you should have carried over. To go too quick, yeah. I know, but that's what I did. I'm like, I gave it, and I was like, I heard about hit these trees, so I went down where Colin did. I overshot it. Yeah, we can make it without wrecking something. That side. Yeah. Unless you went slow like Julian did, then you can bank it around. Man, right. those roots when they grab your tire, it's like. Look at here. Just popped it out. It, it'll go right back in. I just need to remove the back bolt, but I don't have a torx right now. But it'll be fine for the rest of the ride. I'll just fix it when we get back to Dan, so I don't lose it on the trailer. <laughs> what a ride! It's been a while since we had a real ride like this. Where everyone's trying everything, no one's bitching out, except all those bitches who laugh. 
up and go forward Easy. 10 more times. What if we just cut it up? That's what he's doing. Okay, perfect. Now you're stuck, dude. Yeah, I'm you stuck. just, you're not allowed to use the chainsaw with Greg unless you've proven that you need the chainsaw. Hey, yeah, did you break one of your mirrors? Yeah. Me too. You okay now? I'll what? guide you through. We can pave it. Do you need me to get those like lights that they use for planes? Yeah, yeah. What did I do? <laughs> I don't know what you did, Dave. You're just in the wrong spot. The wrong time. <laughs> I can take it. <laughs> the three-wheel drive. He says this is his mulligan for the day. Mulligan, yeah. You got a foot and a half. I, I, you gotta, oh, you gotta, you gotta back, back up. up. Back up a foot and a half. You got a big one here. Whoa, now crank it. You have to do about 10 point. Now do it again. Back it up again like that. Well, that was an awesome section of trail. Didn't really have much carnage. Looked a lot worse than it was. That Super ATV full protection kit, um, I've been riding with it all season and it, it saved my machine countless times. I totally recommend it. great deal it's a solid product comes with the front and the rear bumper and all the tubes that go around the body of the razor um, like you guys saw if it wasn't for that I would have had some serious body damage there what stick? Um, I've actually rolled the machine with this on it in West Virginia you guys will see that in upcoming videos and the cage saved me there too so I uh, totally recommend this product. Uh, if you guys are in the market for new bumpers, then uh, why not go all out and, and get the full protection kit? It really gives you a lot of confidence when you're out on the trail. Uh, you, you don't have to worry about wrecking stuff. Being able to pivot around trees uh, using the bars is, is awesome. I, um, I use this cage as a tool now. I actually call it my trail whiskers. And uh, I just use it as a feeler to rub up against trees and pivot. And uh, it'd be hard riding without it now that I'm used to having it there. Obviously, a lot of you guys know that I am supported by Super ATV. They are one of my main sponsors for the channel. Um, but with that being said, um, I do have an agreement with all my sponsors that I do unbiased reviews of all the products. I will not recommend you guys get something if I don't think it's good quality. Um, I really am a fan of Super ATV's products. They offer a lot of bang for buck and they have some of the best customer service in the industry, hands down. Anyone that's dealt with them knows that's true. As most of you know, I'm based out of Ontario, Canada, so I get most of my Super ATV components through my main sponsor, Royal Distributing, who is a full-line Super ATV dealer and uh, the biggest power sports retailer in Canada.
trail we've already been down today, you can hardly recognize it. And you can't see many of the obstacles off to the sides like logs and stumps, so you really got to be careful even with these big bright light bars. that ghetto booty trying to get stuck again. guys don't recognize is yes this is Bob's elbow at night in the opposite direction we came from earlier Wow yep that definitely felt pretty sketchy I know the video quality is not the greatest at night so you guys are gonna have to use your imaginations here
turn in here. Yo, probably turn over too much. Uh, yeah, come right up to the top and then arc right. Tippy. Uh, let me put this down and we'll try to help you out. You're, you're in that hole. could see what was going on here you'd know how sketchy that was it's just so tough filming this in the dark it's pretty tough during the day so at night it's nearly impossible I'm actually pretty impressed with how good the video quality is so uh, hang in there I hope you guys are enjoying it uh, night riding is a whole other beast This winter I'll be rocking some sweet studded tires, so I'll have all the grip I need, I hope. survived another ride and that was a crazy one for the books um we made it out of the trail we're heading back to dan's should be pretty smooth sailing from here Thanks so much for joining us on another adventure everyone. It was an awesome ride. I love filming these videos and I love sharing all this content with you guys. I feel like you're uh, my extended family on YouTube here. We've been doing this for quite a few seasons now. Thanks so much for the support from everyone. A lot of you guys have been here from the beginning and to all the new people, please stay. Check out our older videos and stay tuned for our new ones. Subscribe to both our channels. Follow us on social media, Instagram and on Facebook. Also, you can check out our Shopify store to grab some cool Team AJP t-shirts, stickers, and other swag. Check back often, we'll have new stuff coming in. And um, also, uh, if you want, you can help support the videos on Patreon. If you're a company that wants to send us some products or some parts or talk about a partnership, then you can also email us. All that info is available on our YouTube page. Take a moment to check out our current sponsors and supporters. A lot of these videos and the content you see here wouldn't be possible without them. They provide us with a lot of support to help make these videos as good as they can be and continually improving. I hope you enjoyed this feature length trail ride. It's the longest one I've done so far. Please leave me a comment and let me know what you think. Just so you guys know, I'm about 60 hours into editing this, so it's um, it's it's no walk in the park. So uh, I know a lot of you guys would love to see more content. 
but I'm processing through it as quick as I can. I'm a one-man team when it comes to editing, so I try my best to juggle this channel along with my personal life and other responsibilities. I'm hoping that as the channel grows in popularity, we can get a little bit more revenue, let's say, or, or a little bit more help processing these videos so that I can create more content and keep improving the content. And that's why I've set up the Shopify store and the Patreon page. It's to help fund this channel, which is turning into a lot larger project than I ever anticipated it to be when I first launched it. The, the positive feedback from everyone is just overwhelming. Thank you so much for all the awesome comments you leave me, guys. I don't want to drag this out too long or sound preachy, but um, hearing all the positivity and, and, and hearing uh, all the comments and, and the stuff you guys have to say and the conversations we have and the friendships we build, make it worth all the effort of making these videos. So thanks so much for spending your free time enjoying this content and please share it with your friends. The larger we can get the page, the more videos we can film and the better we can make them. The camera gear to film this stuff, the computers to process it, it's all really expensive. I don't really get much out of YouTube, which is why, like I said, we've launched the other forms of um, hopefully supplementation such as Patreon and, and Shopify. So like I mentioned earlier, all those profits will go directly 100% back into providing you with better content. So have fun out there, ride safe, keep it rubber side down, and see you guys in the next video.